Ola has just showcased the S1 Air and the S1 Pro to all of us. And with that, they have also shown us four new electric motorcycles of theirs, which has taken all of us by an absolute shocker. Welcome to Drive Spark. My name is Vedan Johari, and let's take a look at these motorcycles up close. First motorcycle, we have Ola's Adventure motorcycle, and as you can see, it has a very futuristic look to it. But not only that, it also comes with properly designed adventure featured motorcycle with an upright seating, higher front with a lower pack of a motorcycle. Along the motorcycle, you see a very neatly designed uh, battery casing with a nice adventure written on it. And coming to that, we, we have crash cars in the front and at the rear or an adventure motorcycle being a very handy feature. And moving along the bike, you see a, a standard design throughout, which captivates the eye, which captures honestly any road go as a motorcycle like this isn't seen at all. Spanning across the bike, when you look at the crank from a rear angle, you have a very cross sort of uh, shape, which adds again that touch of aggressiveness and that touch of a future looking electric motorcycle. And not only that, even the indicators that you see with your uh, rear brake light, it's something that is not at all common in this day and age. Also, another standout feature on this is that being an electric motorcycle, it's still chain driven instead of belt driven and it comes with a very nice circular red design giving it a sort of that Tron sort of vibes. So this is the uh, Ola adventure as a whole. So now moving to the next uh, motorcycle of Ola's, we have the Ola Roadster. Now this is an absolute style icon, very neatly designed bike which has that sort of scrambler yet that sportiness look to it. And here also, as you can see, Ola's kept their battery casing sort of similar throughout all their motorcycles with the clean black finish with the name of the bike sort of neatly placed alongside it. Ola Roadster has a very nice uh, headlight with a sneak finish on it. And coming to it, it also has a sloped sort of visor, which is not really a visor as it's not coming on top. The indicators are inbuilt into the body unlike the motorcycles of where you see it coming out. Also, all bikes of Ola's come with the red circular design, giving it, as I said earlier, that Tron look, that futuristic electric look to motorcycles. Looking at the suspension, we see it has a upside down front forks on this. It has a, a single rear monoshock. So this suspension setup is typically seen on the sportier side of bikes as you can adjust it to be more firm or more stiff, depending on your riding style. Again, the Roadster comes with a, a chain instead of a belt drive. Again, is not a common feature in electric. Now, coming to the back, you have a very thick rear which sort of sleeks down towards the center. The brake light is sort of integrated underneath the rear seat, which when you look at a distance has a very nice finish of a, just like a red sleek line across the motorcycle. So here we have Ola's super sports bike, the Diamond Head. As the name suggests, the front of the bike has that diamond finish, has that sneak cut finish with a very nice strip of light that sort of spreads out from the left front of the bike to the right front of the bike. It has a very, very different look to it, a very futuristic look. So a bike that is not seen at all in today's day and age. Now, even when you look at the suspension system, it's a completely different suspension setup. This is not seen on most motorcycles nowadays. A very, very unique feature, which not only adds right feel, it also adds a very nice look to the bike. Now, spanning across, as you can see, there's no display, there's nothing. Well, that's because up in front, at the top of the diamond head, that part moves down to showcase the display of the electric motorcycle. As you see, this does have the sort of angled backwards handlebars, which is seen on the sportier segments of motorcycles. And as you can see over here, it has an aerodynamic cover for the wheel. We have, again, as you saw in the front, the, the light strip. We have the same light strip at the back as your brake light. This also comes with a single monoshock uh, rear suspension. Now, something that's different about this bike and the rest of all our new electric motorcycles is that this one comes belt driven and not chain driven. Most electric bikes that we see nowadays are belt driven instead of chain driven. Uh, that's a feature that has been seen on other motorcycles. However, one thing about this bike is in terms of safety, it might not be that ideal as there's no real 
covering over here for if there's an impact in front or if you're braking really hard as you will be able to slide on top and then god knows what can happen after that so in terms of safety this could have a little more upgrades but as of now it's just a plan of this so we hope to see what they have in the near future for us now finally we have the Ola Cruiser. This electric motorcycle has that typical cruiser look with the front, the upright handle, and as you can see, it does have a more relaxed seating position than the others. Now, as you move towards the front of the motorcycle, you have a differently designed headlight, which is uh, a more futuristic style, a more futuristic up pattern. It has a sort of curved front end to it so that adds a sort of feature that is new that is different as you move along the side of the bike you have a very bulky but a very nicely designed motorcycle it has the low slung seat with a sort of lower ground clearance than the others as it's a cruiser so now as we span towards the rear of the bike we can see the single rear owner shock that's there the rear end of the bike has a very classy look to it it has a single piece tail and it's a tail tidy finish. Uh, coming to the rear of the bike, we have that nice, as we saw on the other motorcycles, a very nice, a nicely designed brake light. We hit the tail tidy finish. So that adds a lot of uh, feature, a lot of wow factor to this motorcycle. Also, it's chain driven and not belt driven. So these Ola's new electric motorcycles, not yet launched, but a plan of theirs in the near future. As you can see, a lot of these motorcycles do resemble some of the road going motorcycles that are right now there. So let us know in the comment section down below what you think these motorcycles resemble and which of their road going counterparts and which all designs from the road going counterparts have been put on to these new electric motorcycles. This is Vedan Jawari signing out.